Hi Capricorn, welcome to your March forecast. Now let's take a look what's going to be coming your way, okay? And if this doesn't resonate with you, please check your moon risings. Oops, that actually flipped out. You are actually started, you're sorry, you're actually starting to think about where is this situation going to go? Or where is this situation going to lead? Especially if you're in a very unstable and rocky relationship, you feel like your foundation is already hollow and if there's still enough reason for you to go on and proceed with it. Okay, Capricorn, what are the other messages of the angels in the universe for you? Let's shuffle it carefully. Oh, dealing with an air and water. I'll be pulling up more clarification cards later on, right after doing all the spreads. You're really dealing with a water sign this month. <laughs> Capricorn, there is going to be like a big temptation that's going to be coming your way this month. Be very careful. You're feeling a little bit cut off and dry towards this er uh, water sign. Okay? Because I feel like this person is just using too much force on you and not to mention that you will also find out that this person this water sign whether this is your partner or somebody that you're just seeing with right now is pregnant okay and your life purpose Okay, now this month, you will be feeling a little bit like cold and distant to this water sign has been trying to, you know, like use their like manipulation thing uh, to you and you hate it when somebody is trying to force you to do the things that are, you know, that it's not really your own willing. Okay, and you will also find out that this water sign is pregnant during this month so 
you want to have a child or you want to start a family but then you also want to change uh, something about your partner okay which is i feel like you are so afraid to to create this brand new beginning or to create this you know this uh, new level or taking a taking your relationship to a whole new different level and um it's because of your partner's um like you know stubbornness okay like when they want to have something and they want and they ask you they are not going to accept the answer that you're going to be you know saying honestly especially if it doesn't please them and this is what you've been trying to avoid okay that you will be an imp uh, that you will be a prisoner or that you will be imprisoned into a commitment that you feel like it's too toxic and suffocating I feel like, you know, before you bail out of this situation or before you bail out of the um, the relationship, this is a very shallow thing for you to step out of this because you've already had a deeper foundation. You know, the two of you could, you know, um, you do blend well. You do have a lot of connections and chemistries. So you've gone through a lot of things in the past. And it's not that easy to build a foundation together, especially hammering all those years together. So if you are just gonna like let go of this uh situation just because you feel like your partner is too manipulating and suffocating, then why don't you just say it? Okay? It takes two to tango and it takes one to react. Okay? It's like a push and pull. Now, you do have a lot of feelings and you do care a lot about this person, but you feel like there is something that you need to do right before everything else takes place. And um, for those Capricorns who's not yet married, but already in a long-term relationship, there is a possibility of you um, getting engaged or proposing. Or you're the one who will, be, who will be receiving a proposal to your partner. Okay, And there will be a big change of your life and uh, some new you know, new things in the horizon that you feel like you're all in the right path. Now, when it comes to your finances, you are currently thinking about, you know, more ways on how to earn money and how to double your investment or how to make your money grow. And you will be working too hard, you know, like saving up more for the rainy days or you're saving up more for the future because you want to invest more, you know, your money. It, you don't want to keep on spending and, you know, going on a vacation nonchalantly and, you know, like just drain your money and that, like there's no tomorrow. But then this month, you will be more enterprising. You will be thinking more for your future and you will be, you know, you're going to be more sharper and um, more careful with your finances. It's not that you're going to be a little bit stingy, but you feel like you just want to use your money, you know, into something that you feel like it's going to grow and that you can use it someday for your own benefit or advantage. Brand new beginnings are actually in store and it seems like you're all within the right path. It's just that you need to be a little bit more patient, strong, learn how to balance and don't let anybody deter you to your focus now love life which is this is the one that you've been crying about there will be some changes okay you want to cha you want to uh, see some changes into this water sign they're willing to do it it's just that you need to speak up and you need to have that better communications instead of walling yourself up you know shutting people out of your life feeling a little bit sorry for yourself and feeling you know heartbroken because of the things that you really wanted to have it expressed but your partner couldn't really just get it so you need to say whatever that's in your mind or whatever that's inside of you there will be an empty victory but i feel like it is because you know, like, don't try to stay in this relationship just because that you don't want to waste your foundation. Try to find that love again and try to find that lost feeling because it's still there. It's just that you are trying to cover it up with your, you know, with your defensiveness and uh, um, hurt and pain and memories of the past. You need to let it go. And I feel like there will be some... 
you also need to learn how to work as a team. There's no leader and there's no subordinate in this relationship. Both of you are, you know, should work all together side by side and do not compete with anyone or with your partner. It's not you who is competing, but your partner would, you know, want to try and compete against you. So I feel like with a proper, um, you know, with a proper understanding and with the proper communications, the two of you will reach to a different whole new level of your relationship and understanding. You don't really have to worry about your finances because you know what? Whatever strife, <coughs> whatever strife or whatever obstacles that you go through in your life, you can always make through it. And even if you have to start from scratch or start from, you know, from zero or from that, you know, small beginning again, you can always work your way up. No matter what happens, even if time will push you down further, okay, at the bottom, you can always work your way up because you are naturally a mountain goat and you are born to be a leader and to be successful, okay? Always put that in your head. Now, when it comes to your sex life, it seems like it's been like a long, long while. And there is somebody who will be offering you their, you know, <laughs> well, their, not really service, but their affection towards you because this person really wants to be with you. They're lusting over you and they're salivating over you. Okay. Well, you're, a, you're a person who of a, you know, high sex appeal. And uh, even though some people find you average looking, but you have that magnetic personality and you're a natural head turner. So you can't really blame if someone will just stand your way and strip off and, you know, and I feel like this person is willing to, you know, offer pleasure to you, especially oral. <laughs> okay. Well, just be very careful. Okay. Well, if you're already married, you know the answer to this. Don't fall for the temptation because you know what will be the consequences of this. And even if this person is willing to hide your relationship, don't. Because I feel like this person will just lead you away from your real destiny. Okay? Uh, but I feel like this person is really that attractive. Because... Um, hmm. <laughs> You're going to be giving in. Okay? I feel like this person is very persuasive and this this is your greatest weakness. Someone who is pursuing you and someone who is uh, showing some unconditional thing. <laughs> Which is, it's not really an unconditional love. Sometimes it's just an unconditional bullshit. Okay? So. Anyway. Um, and this is someone who is younger than you. Like a fire sign. Anyway. Now, when it comes to your health, it seems like you need to have some more exercise and you need to have some more, you know, you need to sweat it out, especially if you've been under a lot of stress and depression lately. But your health has been doing good, okay? It, you will definitely rise up and you just need to take care of your eyesight and um, I feel like it's time for you to go and change the grade of your reading glasses as well. Now, when it comes to your life path, you need to go back to school, okay, for you to um, study something that you really want to, not really to study, but just to have some certifications, okay, to a particular profession that you really want to be in, because you feel like you're really good at it. Or you can also be in the field of teaching or inspiring other people. Plus, if there is something that you feel like you're in question of, always talk to your angels because they are only waiting for you to call them.
relief, shadow treasures, understanding. You are actually gifted with much wisdom that other people rely on you. And this is the reason why you always understand the, um, you know, the loops and uh, waves of life in the universe. Okay, that's why there are some ups and downs and there are some things that happen for a reason. And that reason is something that you always dig up and that you always discover. Some shadow treasures that, you know, that only lies underneath. And, you know, you know, you are actually good in giving people um, some chances. Even if you feel like uh, they don't really deserve it, but you always believe the goodness from within of someone and that you always understand them psychologically. And relief, because finally there will be some answers and there will be some, you know, enlightenment that you'll be coming up upon. Alright, so anyway, that's it for you for this month, Capricorn. And if you want to talk to me live in the phone or live in the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.